I'm John Sauter in Winnipeg. Many of you in Western Canada are already experiencing some very cold air. Let's talk about why that is happening and why that cold air is going to sink so far south. I want to talk to you about the polar low pressure system and the repositioning of that polar low pressure system and what it does to the pattern in the jet stream. Normally we have a nice zonal flow in that polar jet. Well, when that low repositions itself, it allows the jet stream to meander way down to the south, back up to the north. And the polar jet stream really acts as a barrier between the really cold Arctic air to the north and the not so cold Arctic air just to the south of the polar jet. Uh, so there's no barrier there. There's nothing to really stop this very cold air from sinking not only into western Canada but the eastern prairies and well into the U.S. And the temperatures we are going to see over an extended period are very cold. Here's an example. In Winnipeg we're looking at temperatures really cooling off into this coming weekend and next week we're looking at well minus 28 on Wednesday morning and struggling to get past about minus 23 on Wednesday. Let's look at Calgary. Some of the coldest weather in Calgary in the past 20 years will be experienced the end of this week and right on into the weekend and we look at the temperatures next week. A minus 27 on Tuesday morning, mid minus teens at best. So hang in there. We're going to see this extended period of cold air because of that polar low pressure system and the meandering jet stream.